In this video, you are going to find information that once and for all will show the connection between the military industrial complex and the families of actors that have been exposing. You're going to see proof positive that they profit from war, they profit from conflict, and could care less who dies along the way. If you're not familiar with my past research on the JFK hoax, you might want to review that video before proceeding with this video. In that past documentary, you would become familiar with the person known as Tex Ritter. Tex Ritter is also known as Nelson Rockefeller. We can confirm this, of course, by comparing the wife. As I've said before, when in doubt, check the spouse. Knowing that Nelson is part of the family of actors and has his hand in every assassination up until his death of course but we see that his family members have also taken roles in all the hoax events that have shaped this nation it would be no surprise to find out that his son Mark Rockefeller has stepped to the plate to put his face in the history books but not as a Rockefeller as you look at Mark and his wife, you will understand that they are the actors playing the role of Assad and his wife in Syria. This is a direct link to the steel industry and of course the oil and gas industry as we know that that family is responsible for and profits from the use of those materials. They were the ones that supplied all the steel for the wars and supplied all the fuel for those wars as well. You supply the warm bodies that are killed while they sit back and reap the benefits from it. You also are held accountable for the debt that is accrued to them when this government of ours who happens to be part of their family takes debt to fund these wars so when you find out that individuals such as John Forbes Carey his father is credited with setting up the steel industry in Europe as well as given the credit for the creation of the European Union it's no wonder that he and the rest of his family are pushing for conflict every conflict that this country has been part of in our history has been manipulated and has been sold as a lie to the people that fight in those conflicts. We see time and time again the playing of both sides, the manipulation of countries to think that another country is out to attack them, when we actually know the truth is no one wants to attack anyone. But that would mean that this family wouldn't make any money. They use their media assets to condition you into believing such things as terrorism, such things as 9-11, and all the other domestic terrorist active shooter events that we have come to believe are real, but are not. These individuals have terrorized this nation for long enough People like John McCain, who we know is Henry Winkler, we can verify again with the spouse. We also know plays the role of Ahmadinejad, as we see that McCain went to visit Ahmadinejad just recently. Now why would McCain be doing that? Well, that's how he slips in and out of the country without being detected. So he can film his parts as Ahmadinejad without you knowing it. So that means that there's going to be some more conflict in the Middle East that hasn't happened yet. But be ready, Ahmadinejad will be a part of it. You can deliver a serious blow to these actors 
by addressing the one thing that allows them to skirt accountability. That accountability is avoided by their use of a pseudonym. If you've heard me in the past, you know that what I say about the pseudonym use is something that you can question your lawyer about and you will find that it is fact. Your elected officials are able to run as a fake name. They just get vouched for by a friend of theirs that is most likely a pseudonym as well. So when the time comes for accountability, you're left holding the bag because you don't know who they are. This is a loophole in the law that needs to be fixed. If you fix it, you will deliver a massive blow to these actors. If your representative or your elected official refuses to deal with this, then you can rest assured again that they are part of the problem and they are benefiting from that loophole. Remember this one thing when you are researching events. If you see it on a corporate-backed station, that means anything on TV, anything on the radio, alternative media included, understand that it is a lie. It is not their business to inform you, to bring you up to speed of what the events actually are. That would not be profitable for them, as drama is what they want. So they will continue to stir the pot and keep you in a state of fear, so you will be reactionary. That's what individuals such as Alex Jones and all the truth movement are designed to do. They are designed to bring you to the point where you will act out in an irrational way and cause problems. Problems are what they profit from. Call him out, call his show, and give him a piece of your mind. Every one of them that are on networks that are corporate sponsored, as you will see their websites will have the same ads as one another, know that the message that they are telling you is a lie. If you are interested in the content of this video and find it useful, please consider supporting Wellower One at wellower1.com.